Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to make the GTA PSP games look really nice on the Adrenaline emulator. So the Flow actually released um, a new patch for Adrenaline. It's basically a native resolution patch, which makes the Grand Theft Auto PSP games look really nice. You know, there's no sort of like blurs or like graphical kind of like glitches. It doesn't, you know, the quality is actually quite good now. So if you guys want to get this, go ahead and open up Vita Shell. We will need to connect our PlayStation Vita to our PC, either by FTP or USB. USB connection so press select go and do that and I will show you guys what's to do next so guys make sure you go to the links in the description and as you can see it's now been released the flow has released the GTA native resolution patch for the adrenaline emulator so if you scroll down it will actually tell you how we can install this um, so if we scroll down a bit it's right here so the first thing we need to do is actually download a copy of adrenaline so I will link that in the description this is the latest version this is 6.61 adrenaline version 6.9 so make sure you click on the VPK right here this was released four hours ago so this click on this and then that will begin downloading so the second thing that we need to get is actually like the patch file so go to the next link um, this is the GTA native resolution patch file so just click on this file right here the .prx one and that will begin downloading so once we've got these we can actually go back and take a look at the guide so basically what we have to do is make sure our PS Vita is connected so go to your PC's downloads folder and find the files in there we first of all need to select the adrenaline file and the um, GTA native file and drag and drop those on the root of our PS Vita. I'm just going to replace them. So once you've got those on the root, we also need to copy across our GTA game. Now for this one, I've got Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. This is an ISO file, and this is the, must be a PSP version. And we're going to put this um, into our PSP ME folder. So it's up to you where you decide to get your games from. Um, you know, you can back them up off your disks. So I'm just going to right click copy, go into my PS Vita, go to view at the top, go to hidden items so we can see everything. Now this is on USB connection. If you're using FTP, you don't need to enable hidden items. We need to go to PSP MU, um, ISO, and then this is where you'd right click and paste your game just in the ISO folder. Next we need to go into the SE plugins folder. This is where we need to put the GT underscore native PRX file. So if it's on the root um, you can just find it. So just right click copy, go back and then you can simply just right click and paste it in here. We also then need to go into the game.txt. Now, if you do not have one of these, what you can actually do is just right click, new fold, new text document, and just call it game.txt. Once inside of this, this is what we need to type out MSO dot slash se plugin slash gta underscore native one dot prx and make sure there's a one at the end that will enable it now if you don't want to type out this command you can actually get it off this website it's right here you can just simply copy highlight that copy it and then just simply paste it into the text document and make sure you save it before you decide to close it so there that is pretty much it for the setup so let's go on to our ps vita let's install adrenaline let's make sure the plugin is enabled and then i will show you guys what the game looks like Okay guys, so once we are back, we can actually install the Adrenaline VPK. So let's go onto the UXO, scroll all the way down and just look for it. Here it is, Adrenaline.VPK, press X, X again and X one more time and then it just should start installing. So this is just an update, um, so just give it a few seconds to complete. Now once it is done, we can actually just close out of Vita Shell and we will need to launch the Adrenaline emulator. So find it on your home screen and just tap it to start it up. It should load like normal, but we will need to actually press X to install the PSP 6.61 firmware. So press X and it should begin installing it. So it is going to ask us to download the 6.61 firmware again. Now previously I got an error saying it wasn't found and it wouldn't let me download it. If you get this error, simply turn off your PlayStation Vita, turn it back on, load up Adrenaline and hopefully it will work. So let's just press X to download the firmware and hopefully it should download it from the internet. Now this might take maybe a minute, so as you can see, there you go, the percentage is going up. So let's just wait for this to complete and we'll see what happens when it's done. Okay, so the emulator might close. Let's just go back and open it up. Now we just need to press X to install and it should install it. So you go, it says okay. And that's just going to create the files. So let's just wait for this to complete. And now it says press X to boot into the PSP's X and B. So simply just press X and then we just need to wait for it to boot up. 
So now just go ahead and set up your PSP like normal, just enter the date and time, your name and everything like that, press X and now we're on the X and B. So if you go into your memory card, we should be able to find our ISO game here. But what we want to do first is just press select to bring up the menu. We want to go down into the recovery menu and press X. In the recovery menu, we want to go down to advanced and press X, advanced configurations and this one here make sure this is disabled force high memory layout if this is enabled it probably won't work so make sure that's disabled go up to back then go back again and then scroll down and we need to go into plugins from here make sure the native resolution plugin is enabled and then go back and then go down to exit now we can test the game and hopefully um, the native resolution plugin will be running and our game will look really nice so let's just go ahead and find the game on our memory stick here is mine Grand Theft Auto now there's not now you can use other Grand Theft Auto games as well but I just chose to use this one so let's just press X to start this one up so yeah this is what it looks like it actually looks really really nice I'm pretty sure it's running maybe I will disable it and just have a quick check because I'm not actually 100% sure but yeah this is how you get the native resolution plugin working and it definitely looks really good it looks a hundred times better than it did on the PSP um, I've never really played this game with a nice resolution so playing it like this um, does look really really good so that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one